Decarbonizing the road ahead. Sweden is revolutionizing the way we drive. Jan Peterson, Director of Strategic Development at Trafikverket, believes that electrification is the key. The urgency to combat climate change has spurred a global race for sustainable transportation solutions. Recently, the European Union passed a landmark law mandating zero CO2 emissions for all new cars by 2035. In response, countries are sprinting to establish the infrastructure required for a fossil fuel-free future. Amid this race, Sweden has emerged as a pioneer, not just in talk, but in action. The Swedish Transport Administration, Trafikverket, is embarking on an ambitious project, the world's first permanent electrified road. This groundbreaking initiative could reshape the landscape of electric vehicle, EV, charging, and influence sustainable transportation worldwide. <laughs> yeah, really. Picture this, a 21-kilometer stretch along the E20 weaving through logistics hotspots from Hallsberg to Orebro. Why this spot, you ask? Simple. It's the bustling heart of the goods movement and, more importantly, it's got the juice they crave. It's not just a road, it's a strategic move, serving the vital needs of Stockholm, Gothenburg and Malmö. A tri-city power play in every sense. But what makes this electrified road so unique? It's the concept of dynamic charging. Cars and trucks can recharge while in motion, eliminating the need for prolonged stops at traditional charging stations. This innovation not only boosts convenience, but also offers a potential solution to the challenge of powering heavy-duty vehicles over long distances. Now, let's speak under the hood of this electrified highway. Just try and visualize. We're in the backstage, the project's still getting its glam on, set to shine by 2025. Trafikverket, the mastermind, is toying with three charging methods. The catenary system, a ground-based dance, and the cool wireless vibes of the inductive system. Imagine the ternary system as a nod to trams, overhead wires doing a dance with heavy-duty vehicles like buses and trucks. But here's the twist, it's a bit of a VIP club. Effective for them, sure, but private cars might have to find another charging party. Now, let's talk about conductive charging, the multitasker in the electric road toolkit. It's like the Swiss army knife for both heavy-duty vehicles and your everyday ride. Picture this. Back in 2018, Trafikverket threw a charging party on public roads. It was like a test drive, a two-kilometer stretch from Stockholm's Arlanda Airport to Rosserberg. What's the twist? An electrical rail kind of charging highway etched into the asphalt. Electric trucks roll in, pop out a power receiving arm, and voila, charging on the go. Finally, let's check out the wireless wonders, the inductive charging system. Forget the wires, think of buried magic beneath the road, like a secret handshake with your electric vehicle's coil, sending power vibes directly. The result? A driving experience that not just seamless, but also clutter-free. Flashback to 2020, Trafikverket dropped this wireless marvel on heavy trucks and buses in Visby, turning an island city into electric wonderland. While much focus has been put on heavy-duty vehicles, there's exciting news for private car owners too. A recent study suggests that combining home charging with dynamic charging on electrified roads could reduce the size of EV batteries by up to 70%. This groundbreaking revelation has the potential to reshape how we perceive and utilize electric cars. Researchers simulated the electric road system, or the ERS, with real-life driving patterns, examining 412 privately driven cars on Swedish and European roads. The findings indicate that electrifying only 25% of all roads could efficiently support the system. This opens up possibilities for smaller and more cost-effective batteries. 
Dr. Wasim Shoman from Chalmers University of Technology emphasizes that the impact of ERS varies between urban and rural residencies. Those closer to a city center may benefit more, potentially reducing their battery range by up to 20%. As technology matures, this disparity could be addressed, marking a significant leap toward equitable EV usage. Here's the scoop for you. Sweden isn't on this electrifying ride solo. They've got big plans, aiming to extend the electric road network by an additional 3,000 kilometers by 2045. Now here comes the teamwork, a dynamic trio involving Germany, Sweden and France. They're not just sharing notes, they're diving into joint experiences and research collaborations on the electrified road frontier. Germany and Sweden? Well, they've already flexed their electric road muscles on public roads. And guess what? France is revving up, ready to kickstart a pilot section. It's a power-packed partnership in motion. Zooming out of Sweden, it's not just them hopping on the electrical road bandwagon. Italy, the UK, the US, and India, yep, they're in it too, investing in electric road systems, ERS. The worldwide buzz around electrified roads is proof. Countries are teaming up for a shared mission of embracing greener, more sustainable mobility. And, as with any groundbreaking technology, challenges do lie ahead. Ensuring that heavy vehicles remain charged remains a significant concern. However, Jan Peterson from Traffic Verket points out that static charging solutions for heavy-duty vehicles may lead to enormous batteries, affecting the vehicle's efficiency. Dr. Showman, a researcher from Chalmers University of Technology, acknowledges that the technology is still maturing. The study's assumptions may evolve with further developments, but the promise of smaller batteries and increased efficiency remains an exciting prospect for our future. And there you have it. Sweden is paving the way for a drive revolution with the world's first electrified road. From dynamic charging to collaborative global efforts, the road ahead is exciting and full of potential. What are your thoughts on this electrifying innovation? Can electrified roads truly revolutionize how we drive? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Futuristic Tech and AI for more updates on the future of sustainable mobility.